The Texas Constitution, as we know it today, took effect in 1876, and since then, it's been amended hundreds of times, 474 times to be exact. And this year, the state legislature is proposing nine new changes, including Proposition 1, which allows property tax exemptions for surviving spouses of servicemen and women killed in action. And Proposition 6 would set aside $2 billion from the state's rainy day fund to finance various water development projects across the state. And on a local level, the city of Amarillo is proposing 21 amendments to the city charter, which was written in 1913 and hasn't been updated since. It's been 100 years. There have been many changes to state and federal law. Uh, that render parts of our charter outdated or just inconsistent, uh, difficult to reconcile with current laws. Now most of the amendments just bring the charter up to date from a legal standpoint, but a few are a little more interesting, like Proposition 15, which sets a time limit for petitions, and Proposition 8, which would remove the $250 cap on emergency expenditures. You know, in 1913, $250 was a whole lot more money than it is today. And the current charter written in that time period limits the city manager to $250 for an emergency expenditure. Well, <clears throat> anyone who's had a car wreck knows that hardly pays for a, a one half of a bumper. A third key item on the ballot will be the $31.5 million bond election for the proposed Amarillo Recreation Complex in Southeast Amarillo.